Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Today is the last day of December, December 31st, New Year's Eve. And it's beautiful out, the wind's blowing really hard. A uh, couple things I want to show you here. Uh, a lot of people asking about the, the corn feeder and about uh, honeybees mixing with chickens, about honeybees being eaten by chickens. Uh, as you know, right here, you see my previous videos, this feeder right here, just this corn feeder, is filled up with honeybees trying to get off the pollen, or not the pollen, the protein, like the, the cornmeal powder. And uh, these chickens eat at the same time around these feeders. And not once, I've never, ever, ever seen a chicken trying to eat a bee. Now, I don't know about the dead bees because they forage around under the hives so much and they're always eating something under the hives, but they highly respect the bees. I can assure you that. They, uh, if the bees get too close to them, they jump and, and move away. Just a little while ago, and I was trying to catch it on video where you could see it. I uh, apologize for the wind. I hope it's not messing with the, the volume too much. I'm trying to shield it with my hand here. Uh, they was coming out and they was eating the corn underneath. And, and the bees are there too underneath. And just to show you, they do not go after these bees. And if this was an insect that they was wanting to eat, I can assure you right now, they would be right up there picking them off as they go in that feeder. They will not eat those bees. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. And... and we put it on pause and I'll get to my other subject. Okay, I'm back. Uh, our rapid feeders that we use. Here's one thing I wanted to show you. If, uh, if you're wondering how you can feed your bees through the winter time, I don't know of any other feeder that's as versatile as these are where you can feed liquid through the spring and summer and then winter convert it over to just a sugar feed. This is one right here that we have uh, poured dry sugar, you know, got rid of the wet sugar, the, the one to one, two to one, whatever was you using last, which was two to one. And we filled up with the dry sugar. The sugar will condensate collections of water into the sugar. It will, uh, the bees will generate heat when they cluster and their moisture will come up from the bees and come out these vent holes, one right there, and there's one right there, and then they exit out right there, and also right here, you can see on the outside of the hive. Now some of that will also ventilate up through here and condensate on our lid that we'll have, which is here, which is one of the lids, that comes from the hive right beside it. I've got the other one pinned down because the wind's blowing so hard. And I do apologize if it's a little bit noisy. I'm hoping it's not, and I won't be able to tell until I review the video. I'm trying to shield it a little bit. Um, so it may be a little bit noisy. But anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. This is what's important right here is see how these bees now, the sugar has gotten wet, and now the bees are able to come up and feed on that, that sugar. They don't really pay much attention to it. They, I mean, they'll pick at it a little bit, but not much. But once it turns wet, then they really start attacking it like they would a sugar cake. And this also has essential oils mixed in with it that help out as well. You can add just a little bit of those essential oils and mix them with the, with the dry sugar as well to, uh, to give them uh, what they need there to help with nozema. But I wanted to share that. I thought that was very important for people that want to know how to, if you want to come next year, or even this year, you know, you can still continue to put one on there, but you'd probably be better to wait till next year. If you want a, a different feeding system, this is the best that we know of right here. These things work excellent. They're easy to clean out. And I've never showed a video of them feeding on the sugar. I've showed a video putting it in, but it never showed it on how they come up to the top and eat the sugar. They absolutely do, and also what it does it'll provide a little bit of insulation because you've got that sugar mass sitting right on top, right in the center of the hive. 
which will also insulate it just a little bit. And it also works as a sponge and it catches the, the moisture that could drip down and kill your bees. So that'll help you there. So put the lid back on this one over here. And I got my lid pinned down, it may blow away as soon as I uncover it. But see, this lid right here normally goes in on top when you're feeding sugar water. The bees will come up and it keeps them from getting out into this part because you never let them out into this part when you're feeding sugar water. But when you're feeding sugar, you remove this and allow them to come up there. And then you simply just put your lid on like that. And then it's simple as that. These things work excellent. Um, we sell these at barnyardbees.com. If anyone's interested in some of these, they work excellent. Uh, as windy as it is, these bees are still feeding on this pollen right here. And they are just tearing it up. And my sugar water feeder as well. You can see the wind blowing them around quite a bit. So they're they're really taking it down today. It's, it's kind of funny watching with this wind because the wind blows them around. Uh, just to recap from the last video, if, if no one saw, because I thought this was very interesting, not very many people get to see this. You see those bees right there? Looks like they're, they're pushing up and down, up and down. What they're doing, they're packing that pollen down inside their uh, sacks on their legs that they transport pollen in, their pollen sacks. So just in case somebody hasn't seen that yet in the last video, I thought I'd show that again. And some people was asking what it is we use, and it's, it's Ultra B that we also sell at our store. Uh, barnyardbees.com, or you can call the phone, 706-971-2700. Uh, then it, right here is our sugar water that we're trying this year. And me and uh, there's also Joe May, he told me he's trying some uh, external sugar feeding. A little bit's honeybee. Check out his channel. And also, speaking of Joe, we had just made a live chat Saturday night. And if you haven't seen that chat, it's, it's coming in three parts because it ran almost three hours. I think it went two hours and 45 minutes. But each, each section is like one hour. The section that's out right now, the video, it, it runs like 55 minutes or an hour, somewhere around there. I'm going to put the link below. Please go check it out. It's pretty interesting. It's me, Joe May, uh, uh, Jason uh, from New River Honeybee. Uh, there, there's, there's some others on there that, that are very well knowledgeable beekeepers. Everyone that was on there knows exactly what they're talking about. They're very good, knowledgeable, well, well experienced beekeepers. And uh, <clears throat> go, uh, if you would, go check that video out. I'll put the link right under in the description. Don't forget to check it out. It's a very good video. Uh, Joe May host it, and uh, we plan on having maybe a few more of those because it, it was very fun. People popped in and asked questions for almost three hours straight so also don't forget I mean we're coming on the first of the year our package and nuke sales are going to go through the roof come the first of the year so if you want packages and nukes now's the time to get up here and get them early if you want to get them early because after the first of the year the orders are going to start pounding in and then people will be uh, be waiting on their packages because right now you'll be able to get them probably around uh, early part of April, and maybe even into March, depending on how quick you get them, because we uh, will have a, a lot this year, and we won't run out. So, don't forget, click on the little bell. I apologize again for the wind. I know it's going to be a little bit windy on this video, but I've done three takes on this, and I just wasn't satisfied with the other two takes, and I want to get this out today, be a New Year's Day. So, don't forget, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new videos. Uh, don't forget 2019 we're going to have a lot of instructional videos and we're getting ready to hit it hard this year so watch out for us barnyard bees videos and that's about it like subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees